Ciao besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liliana and in this video we're gonna do something that you guys have been asking me for ages. Ever since I made one of these probably you guys have been asking me. So yes, today we're gonna finally talk about brand presentation reels or TikToks. If you don't know what they are, basically they are small videos like 15 to 20 seconds long where basically you present your brand. They're called brand presentation reels <laughs> for this reason exactly. Using your logos Suite, patterns, brand elements, mockups, and photos and videos, you can create a video where basically you present to the world your brand. These kind of videos are amazing because they make you have like a better idea of what the brand is like in general, like in its entirety. And they're so much fun to watch. You know, you have just a small amount of time when you are working with reels. Ever since social media, our attention span is definitely shorter. So you have to work with, yeah, 15 to 20 seconds to to grab the attention of your viewer. And this is exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how I personally make my brand presentation reels or TikToks. You know, there's so many ways that you can do it, but you know, I have like a structure and a formula that I always follow. And you know, it definitely worked for me. If you've seen one of my previous videos, the one where I talked about Instagram growth, if you haven't, it's here somewhere. <laughs> but if you have seen it, you know that the whole reason why my page grew is because one of my brand presentation reels went viral. They can be very useful for you and your page if you're trying to grow on Instagram or social media in general, but they're just great ways to showcase the entirety of a brand in just a small video. I don't know, they're great, I love them, it's so fun making them and you know, you can also have fun with the videos and how you can incorporate all the elements of the brand. We're gonna talk about all of that. So yeah, basically in this video I'm gonna show you how I make them. The process is very very easy and uh, now I kind of got the hang of it so I do it really fast. But of course, I'm gonna take you step by step through the whole process and we're gonna start from scratch for this video. So I'm gonna use all the softwares and all the websites and resources that I use usually to make this video. So to make a video like this, you will need Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and an editing software. I personally use Sony Vegas, but you can use like literally any editing software. I used to do this also with Adobe Premiere. So, you know, literally any kind of editing software that you feel comfortable with. And as for websites, I usually use Pexels or Unblast, but I think that in this case it's better to use Pexels because they also have videos and using videos in this kind of reels or TikToks is very very important. But without further ado, let's get started and uh, let's make a brand presentation reel. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna make a brand presentation reel for one of my latest passion projects. It's a podcast called Promising Young Geeks. So as I said, I'm gonna start from scratch, which means that I'm gonna make all the images using the logos and the logo suite to put in the video then I'm gonna fix the mockups inside the shape that we're looking for for the video and then we're gonna find the videos and the pictures that we're gonna use so I'm gonna try to be as still as possible because I know that in my latest video everything was like super shaky and I am sorry I'm working on that so the first thing to do is opening up the illustrator file okay so this is my very very messy artboard <laughs> Oh my god. But this is reality, you guys. If any designer tells you that they have like perfectly organized artboards, they're a liar or they're a psychopath. You choose. Okay, so the first thing to do is find a space that is kind of empty where you can create the boards there. Just create a random shape and then you give the size that we need, which is 10, 80, 19, 20 pixels. Yep. So now I'm putting the logo here and I'm switching up the colors. I'm gonna make a secondary board for the logo mark. One thing that you have to remember when you're making this is that reels always like zoom in a little bit when uh, you're posting a video. I don't know why and I hate it. So you have to make sure that your designs don't go too much over the edges because they won't show up in the way that you want. So even this one, I think it has to be slightly smaller. Okay, so we have the first logo, the main logo and the secondary logo with the logo mark. In this case we also have this other icon that I made, this one here, so I'm making a special board for it. So the next step is doing another board for the pattern because I do this thing that it's like my signature, I don't know anyone else who does it and if they do they've seen it from me because yeah, <laughs> I'm sure of it. So for this reel I think this pattern is a little bit big so we're gonna scale it and make it 
you know, a little bit bigger. Okay, so I think this is perfect. And for this brand specifically, I haven't created the same pattern, but on different colors. And I really don't want to do that on Illustrator because it's so annoying. So we're going to do that actually on Photoshop later. This is what we're working with right now. And then one important thing that I do is copy the very first two boards and I make everything white and I remove the background. Now we have one last board that I do usually that I always forget about, always, always forget about it. I start editing the reel and then I'm like, God, and then I have to go back here and make it. I usually make like one last board where I say like, if you like this content, follow me here, you know? So now we save all the files and then we move on to Photoshop. So what I do now is bring in basically all the files that I have for mockups and everything that I need. Okay, so now we're gonna do the thing that I was talking about before, which is the pattern. Copy this and put it here. Great, so now this is the first image that we need. And then what you do is sample this color and then you do the old switcheroo. Okay, so now you have two exact versions of the same pattern. So now what we do is save all these files and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so kidding. Um, no, we are definitely not done. We still have to look for the images and videos. I go to Pexels usually. On Pexels, you have the option to just use videos and usually I go on filters and go vertical. So I know that I have like the right size that I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, let's see. Now, I am very lucky because I use stock images from Pexels. So I use like these two girls for the podcast. So I'm very lucky that I also have videos with them. So it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so now the next step is obviously start editing the reel. So you open your editing software and the first thing that I do is obviously change the size to the size that we're looking for. So the first thing that I do is adding the video that I wanna use for the beginning. So I put this one and I make sure that the size is right because sometimes the video is a little bit smaller i don't know why but in this program you can just fix it in a second so what i do next is add another track here insert video track and then i put the logo that we created before the white one but it doesn't really work with this video that i am using so what we can do is either try another video so now that we have the video we have to establish how long it's gonna be now we start adding all the files that we need so we have the logo and the good thing about this is that we have made this one and then we copied it and turned it to white so it's gonna be the exact same size in the exact same place so it's gonna be cool when it switches from video to the picture right now what we have to do is creating a rhythm for the reel because of course we're not editing using any audio because at this stage of the editing process i still don't know what audio i'm going to be using because of course when it comes to reels or tiktoks you have to use trending sounds so you don't know what's gonna trend in a couple of days. So we have to create our own rhythm without any audio, of course, and uh, I will guarantee you that you will find a trending audio that it fits perfectly. So the first step of creating a rhythm is establishing again how long the clip is gonna be. And the thing that I like about Vegas Pro is that you can see the images like scaling down. So um, I managed to have them all the same length just because you know there's this little thing here. <laughs> I don't know if you if you understand what I'm saying. We scale it down and you know it's the same size. So when we do this it's boom boom. Yeah. So what I do is I create some sort of structure for my reels. So in the first half of the reel, I put all the logos and the color palette and everything regarding the logo. Then I do my signature move. And after that, I insert all the mockups. So now I'm gonna add all the other elements. So now the next step is my signature move. And my signature move is alternating patterns. Let me explain. <laughs> so what we do is we put the two patterns that we created by switching the colors and we kind of alternate them really really fast so that you know creates this kind of movement kind of grabs the attention of the viewer again it's insane that we even have to do this in a 
20 second video but as i mentioned before our attention span is way shorter today even within this very short video we have to kind of make the video dynamic so that it's not all the same it doesn't have the rhythm that it's too boring so in the middle of the video i try to do something a little bit faster so that you know the attention is grabbed again i don't know if it makes sense so i usually make these a little bit smaller then i repeat them three times perfect so what i do after this is adding in the second video so my idea for this is that we have a rhythm and then it goes fast 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 and then slow does it make sense i don't know to me it's very fun like visually when you're just watching a reel that it goes picture picture picture, picture. people might scroll in this case we have video picture 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 fast 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 slow does it make sense? Am I insane? Probably. I've thought about the way that I was gonna explain this many times, but this is the only way that it works. I mean, <laughs> this is literally what my brain thought when I came up with this thing. So if you see this, this is mine. If I see a reel with this technique, it's mine. Second video, and this is gonna be roughly the same length of the first one. Now, for the rest of the reel, we add in all the mockups using the same structure that we used at the beginning. So for the logos and everything. So we kind of go back to the first structure. Okay, I think this was the last one. So our next step and our final step is adding it that last image that we created. And usually I like to make this slightly longer than the rest. So for rendering, I go on render as, and I have a preset. It's probably internet HD, like this one here, but I kind of edit it to be a reel so that I remember. And then I go on customize the template because I don't know why the size always changes. So you have to go back and re-enter the size and then you render. And then it's done. Now we move to the phone part because it's not over. We still have to send the reel on my phone and then we have to keep editing because we have to insert like a hook or something. You can't just play the video. You have to kind of show kind of before and after. There's so many fun ways that you can transition from start to the finished product. So I'm gonna send myself the video <laughs> and uh, get back to you. Okay, hi, <laughs> my camera died, but I mean, you don't really need to see me at this point. Now we have to film our before part. So the part where we film our artworks on Illustrator. As I said before, you can choose literally any kind of intro or hook that you might wanna use for your reel. I'm gonna go back to an old one because this is the kind of hook that I used to use when my reels were like viral, viral. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so here we are back again with our very, very messy artboard. So what I do now is actually find the audio that I'm gonna be using so that I can time it. So of course, while I'm gonna be filming, you will not hear the audio because, you know, copyright claims and everything. I'm gonna try to sync it and, you know, make it look cool. Okay, so the next step is adding the actual reel and see how we can time it to make it even more cool. Now it works perfectly. This is exactly what I wanted. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're looking at it and it looks great. Oh, and one last thing that I usually write is something like watch me design something even if they actually don't watch me design anything so let's add that okay so we're gonna put this at the very beginning in our very first part perfect so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching if you do have any more questions on how to edit these videos please feel free to leave them in the comments i will happily reply to you yeah this was my way of editing a brand presentation reel so if you want to see the finished product with the music and everything you can go on my instagram page and you will find it there and also while you're there give me a follow if you don't follow me already i am so excited to see what reels you're gonna create using this tutorial so please if you follow these tutorials while making one of your reels or tiktoks please tag me i want to see it if you have enjoyed this video and if you find it helpful please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel to always know where i'm gonna post videos like this also let me know if there is something that you want me to talk about i'm very happy to help you guys with anything leave all your ideas in the comments also i have a patreon if you want to get a little more personal with me um, you can join my community there and uh yeah what else can i say i will see you next week ciao
whatever what is that oh god there's something <laughs> so the chant the chant huh 